Hi everyone, it's Pam from Everyday Snapshots at edsnapshots.com and I'm coming to you today to talk to you about how you can use Adobe Reader in order to print and edit and save your Plan Your Year homeschool planning pages. The first thing I wanted to show you tonight, just in case you haven't gotten your planning pages yet, is how to get them. So if you come out to edsnapshots.com, on the hello bar here, there's a button saying get them now. And if you click on that button, it will take you to the Plan Your Year Homeschool Planner page. And if you scroll about halfway down that page, you'll see a box where you can enter in your name and your email address. Now, I just want to reassure you that I do not intend to flood your email box with emails. You'll get an update from me about once a week that includes all of the last week's blog post. And that'll also include my homeschool planning series where I show you how to use these planning forms. So once you have your information entered in, you can click on the Download Now button and the page is going to refresh. And if you scroll down the page, you'll see a little message that says email was sent. Please check your inbox for the download link. So if you click over to your email inbox, I will tell you that sometimes it does take five or six minutes for this to show up. But once it does, there will be a download link there for you that you can click on. And a dialog box to download these files will open on your computer. Now I like to put these on my desktop so I know exactly where to find them. Wherever you want to save them is up to you, but I'm going to click on Save, and it's going to download. And you can see that the Plan Your Year Zip is now on my desktop. This is a compressed file of documents, and so in order to work with it, you have to double-click it, and it expands the compressed file into a folder called Plan Your Year. And when you open that folder, you can see the list of Plan Your Year documents that are inside. One of the things that I like to do from the very beginning is take my zip file and put that into my folder. And the reason that I like to do this is if for some reason I edit one of these files and save changes that I don't like, if I'd like to start with a blank file, or I accidentally delete one, I will always have my original copies in this zip folder and I can expand them again. And since I'm type A, I'm going to put a Z in front of mine so that when my window refreshes, it's at the bottom and out of my way. So now I have all of my documents here in my folder and I'd like to maybe print these or edit some of them. So the program that I'm going to use is called Adobe Reader. It's on most computers. Um, if you don't have it, there is a download link in the blog post, so you can download it. I'm going to open the Adobe Reader folder, go to File and Open, navigate to my Plan Your Year files, and then select the one that I want to work in. Once the file opens up, the very first thing you can do if you want to is print it. A lot of people love to do their planning with a pen or a pencil in hand. Um, it provides a lot of clarity to write things out, and I totally understand that. So you can take that blank form and press the print button. And when your box comes up, the only thing you really want to remember to pay attention to that's out of the ordinary is this particular button right here which says shrink oversized pages. You want to make sure that that's clicked so that your page is going to fit the paper that you have in your printer. And once you've done that, you can click on print and your page will print away. Now, let's say you're kind of like me and you have the handwriting of a serial killer. You don't like to look at it and you'd really like to be able to type into these forms. Well, we can do that too. If you look at the top, you see this purple bar right here, and this button on the right side says Highlight Existing Fields. If you click on that button, 
The document then highlights in blue all the places on this document where you can type your text into the document. This is pretty cool. Now you can leave that highlighted if you want to, or if the blue annoys you, you can turn it off. And so I'm just going to start by clicking on the places where I would like to type and entering in the information that I would like to have on my form. Once I have a few things typed in here and I am ready to continue, then I can do a number of things with this form. One of the things that I can do is I can go back to my print dialog pull up print and now when I print a copy of this form you can see in the preview here it's going to have the text typed into it that I entered into the form. That's very handy. I can enter my text by typing and then print a copy to keep in my homeschooling notebook. If I don't want to print or if I would just like to save this to print later, another thing I can do is come up to the menu bar at the top, go to File, and you're going to want to use the Save As function. If you save, you're going to overwrite your original file. But if you come down to Save As, you're going to create a copy with your edits in there and it's going to leave your original file blank for you. So I'm going to Save As PDF and I'm going to give it a new name. So I'm just going to change the name of this one to Olivia Goals and click the Save button. And now if I close this document and come back out to my Plan Your Year folder, you can now see here's my original goals file that's blank and then here's the new Olivia goals file that I made that has the text typed into it and from this point at any time I can open this document and make changes to it or print it or whatever I would like to do. Okay so I wanted to also show you one of the forms from the expansion pack this is an additional pack of forms that's available on my website for $3.99. And this pack of forms has about 15 extra forms, including a um, month, a month per page calendar for you, 2014-2015. Couple of cool things. All of these forms are completely editable, just like the ones in the Plan Your Year pack. And another really neat thing about it is that um, if you're going through these forms and you're seeing one that you almost like or um, you can't find one that you like at all, as a purchaser of the expansion pack, all you have to do is shoot me an email and I would be happy to make a custom form for you. I'll send that form along to you and I'll also include it in updates of the, um, of the expansion pack so that other homeschoolers can um, get a copy to maybe use your form, get a chance to use your form as well, because they might like your form. And the form I wanted to show you about today um, is the attendance form. So I'm going to go back into Adobe Reader. I'm going to say File and Open. Navigate to the Expansion Pack and open the attendance record. Once again, I can see the different fields where I can type. I'm going to call this 2014-2015. My required number of days for school happens to be one. Actually, it's 160. We always try to shoot for a little more. And then I can come down here and click in the boxes and put an X an O, a Q, a P, whatever you would like for the days that you do school. Actually, we're probably not going to do school more than five days in a row. And then at the end of the month, I can count up the number of X's that I have 
and enter that total over there. Now, what I can do once again is go to File and Save As and save this as Attendance 2014 school year and it's going to put a copy of that in the folder for me that I can then come back and edit at the end of every week and um, the original will stay where it's supposed to be. So that's the end of my little tutorial. If you have any questions at all about how to use these forms, if you have suggestions for another form, or um, if you would just like some help walking through the planning process, be sure to shoot me an email at pam at edsnapshots.com or leave a comment on the blog. Thank you.